Gee, hi, Dave DeCoston here again. I always said that flash cut is a plug and play. Well, I'm going to demonstrate that this morning. And I'll, you'll see that we can have a full control up and running in, in less than 15 minutes. <clears throat> here I have uh, uh, the flash cuts control box. So I bring that over here. This has the amplifiers and everything in, inside here. So you plug that 110 in. And uh, that's that. You take the USB port plug, plug it into the computer. Now I've already got the software loaded on this computer. Then you get your motors. You've got three uh, stepper motors here. And we'll put those over there on our on our workbench. Use one of my forklifts here to uh, make make a horizontal surface there where we can set things. Then here's the plugs for the motors, all tangled up. So here's one plug. We plug this into uh, right into here. Plug the other end into a motor. That'd be here. Do it two more times. Plug in play. Plug in play. Now we're gonna also have a, a spin the motor. Wait a minute, what's this in here? This seems to be the wrong plug. I don't know. Maybe not. Guess not. And one more plug and play. So that hooks our three motors up. Uh, X, Y, and Z. Of course, we aren't making a very pretty cable set up here, but. This is just a demonstration. There's our motors. Now, we have a, uh, an interface board here that has all of the things to run a machine. It's got three air valves, and it has one, two, three, four, five solid state relays, an output for the coolant pump, and an output for the turret motor. So we plug this in, okay. Plug it right in there. That's 110. Then we plug this into the uh, upper output. This is the output uh, lines here in the back of the machine. All right, that takes care of that. Now we've got a coolant pump. And it's this here. So we plug the coolant pump into its appropriate plug here. I believe it's this one here. Okay, there's the coolant pump. Then the spindle motor. You get a spindle motor with a vector drive hooked up to it. And this uh, vector drive runs the three-phase motor uh, off 110 volts, which is pretty nice. It's a little unit made by Delta. So, Plug that in. Everything takes 110. All right. Then we. Uh, that's on. So this here plug goes is the the DAC DAC output. Shoot, the wire broke. Dang it! I have to fix that somehow. The DAC. This encoder DAC. This is a DAC output. Okay, and uh, then this uh, cord here plugs in to here. All right, so. Okay, so we got everything here to make a CNC machine, and I don't think we have five minutes in here yet. We got the interface for the valves and the, uh, the turning on the various functions for the tool changer. We got a centralist vector drive here. 
a three phase, one and a half horsepower motor here, three axes, X, Y, and Z, and a coolant pump. So I've already loaded the software, that's a, that's a no-brainer. But uh, what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna touch jog. Oh, this is not touch screen. <laughs> My other ones are touch screens. Jog, Z. Uh, Z. Look at that. Amazing, isn't it? X, Y. That's fast. Then we got we go to aux here, and we turn on the coolant pump. You hear the coolant pump come on it's right here. There's the coolant pump. Yeah, look at the pump. Yeah. And then we go to the spindle on, and the spindle comes on. 500 RPM. We can take it up to 1,000, but it's lovely. Where are you going there? There's a thousand RPM. You can go all the way up to three thousand. Now I gotta if I slow it down too fast, this thing's allowed to roll off onto the floor. <laughs> but that's it. You got a full CNC setup. Plug and play, like I always say, it uh, what did that take? About seven or eight minutes. Anyways, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.